have a little workout for you. It's a gentle little workout. It's Pilates, so you're gonna feel it. But this is something that I want you to be able to kind of roll out of bed, do in the morning, and feel good. It'll massage your spine, it'll get everything kind of amped up, it'll get your blood pumping, your heart going. It'll be a really nice life force to wake up to. Don't stress on perfection. I just want you to breathe and move with me. Okay, so I want you to stand on your mat, heels together, toes apart. Just kind of spread the toes, wiggle them, feel where you're planted, lift the heels up, kind of activate the body, pull your abdominals in and up, close the rib cage just a little bit, and feel your butt working. Inhale, put the arms up, just adjust yourself, feel nice, exhale. Inhale again. Exhale and round yourself up and over slowly. Keep a slight bend in the knees. You want to keep your abdominals up here. And then walk yourself out into a plank position. You want your fingers spread really wide and then drop your butt so that it's in line with your body. Bend your elbows just slightly. Inhale here. On the exhale, you're going to do five tiny Pilates push-ups. So you're inhaling down, exhaling up. Three more. Two more. Last one, hold it here. So hold the plank for just another few seconds. You'll feel a little bit wobbly. That's normal. Lift yourself up, hold. You're gonna walk yourself back. You'll start to feel a little stretch in the hamstrings. Hold it here, plant your feet down. Really, really root your feet. Plant your hands down next to your feet. Give your wrist, wrist a little stretch. If you can't do this, not everybody can touch the um, mat this way. You just bend your knees, that's fine and then hold it here, inhale, on exhale, lift yourself back up, and exhale, round yourself up and over. This is called front support, and it's just a plank with a few little push-ups. Now I want you to remember these push-ups, I want your butt down, abs in and up, and your elbows straight back, not out to the sides. Inhale down just a little, and exhale up. Inhale, exhale up with the breath, three more, two more. Last one, you're holding your core super, super tight here, Bend your knees, extend yourself long into a child's pose. You want to take three deep breaths. You can walk one hand over to this side to get a nice stretch. Come back to the center. Walk the other hand over to get a nice stretch on the side of the body. Come back to center. Stack it up. You want your spine to be really tall. You want your shoulders wide, shoulder blades gliding down your back. Put your hands behind. Just lift yourself slightly. You want to arch your neck way back. You just want to lift your lower back. And then come back, hands here. Sit down on your butt. We'll start a little bit of ab work. Sitting on your butt, I want you to grab behind your thighs. Elbows wide, and you want to, you want to like not hunch your shoulders up, right? You want to glide the shoulder blades down your back, make nice strong arms. So tuck right here. So you're kind of scooping out and you're tucking your pelvis, tipping your pubic bone forward and lowering yourself down. If you feel safe, you can let go here. Lowering yourself down, slow, 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 slow. Good, arms up to the sky, arms behind. Take a nice inhale. On the exhale, pull your ribs in, bring your arms back up to the sky, hold it here. Bring one leg up, bring the other leg up, inhale. On the exhale, you're gonna pull your ribs in and extend your arms long. So we're gonna work the abdominals a little bit here. You're gonna to tap to the floor, flex and lift up. Inhale to tap, exhale, flex, and lift, pulling the abs in deeply. Tap, flex, and lift for 10, 9, big exhales, 8, 7, long arms, 6, 5, good, 4, I'm like, me, good, 3, 2, last one, hold it here. Pull everything in, pull up. It's natural for your neck to hurt a little bit in the beginning. If it does, just put it down. You can go all the way down. But so I'm gonna hold it here, and then I'm gonna gently pull my knees in and give them a little hug. So you're already activating your rib cage. You wanna keep your ribs nice and closed, and your abs in. You wanna not arch your back when you're doing these exercises, because that's what's gonna keep you safe. So coming back up onto the mat, we're gonna do a little ab series. Hands over hands, you don't wanna interlace. Just put them my elbow's nice and wide. You're gonna take your armpit to your knee. You're gonna bring your right armpit to your left knee, not the elbow, and pull it back in. Inhale to switch, exhale, pull it back in. Inhale to switch, exhale, pull it in. Inhale to switch, and exhale, let's do five more. Four more. Good, three more. Two more. 
last one bring it in lower your head neck and shoulders lower your feet down bring your arms behind you now you can arch your back to take a nice break inhale exhale bring everything up and in give it a hug and you want to really open up your shoulders lowering it back down here extend your legs nice and long head neck and shoulders come up you want to make like an L shape with your body. And again, if this hurts too much, you can keep your head down. But I want you to think about lifting the neck up and pulling from right here. So you're not just like hoisting it. You're going to lower one leg, give the other leg a little pull, pull. And when you keep your butt anchored to the mat, so give it a gentle pull, pull in. Elbows are wide, pull, pull. Shoulders are down for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, Five, four, three, two, and one. Hold everything, give it another little inch up. Lower it down, hold. You're gonna grab behind your thighs and wrap yourself back up to seated. This one is called rolling like a ball. So we're gonna work the abdominals, massage the spine a little bit, rock out all of that ab work that we just did. You should be feeling it right now. So heels together, toes apart, plant your butt on the mat. So you're gonna make yourself a ball shape. You wanna think about a circle here and your elbows being really, really wide. You're gonna kinda of sit back on your sit bones a little bit and you're gonna go back just to the tips of your shoulder blades. So inhale back and exhale up, pulling in. So your abs are the brakes. Inhale back and exhale up. And then you wanna balance, don't wanna put your feet down. Inhale back, exhale up. You can focus on your heels, that helps. Inhale back. Exhale up, just to a hover, let's do three more. Inhale back, exhale up, two more. Inhale back, exhale up, last one. Inhale back, exhale up, extend your legs out, hold it here. You're gonna bring your arms to the front. You're just gonna inhale and exhale, pull everything back in. For 10, keep your abs nice and tight, your back slightly tucked. Seven, knees squeezed together, six, five more, four, three, two, one, hold it out, bring it back in, plant your feet down, scoot yourself back, we're gonna do some side lying leg work. We're gonna do a little bit of work on the legs. I want you to remember that the legs, butt, and abs are all attached. This is a full body exercise. I want your arms planted. We're gonna keep that arm activated. You're gonna keep lifted a little bit here. You're gonna point to lift and flex to lower. You start to feel it right here. Point to lift and flex to lower. Point to lift, flex to lower. For eight, seven, you can exhale on the down, six, five, keep your abs activated, just keep them thinking, four, three, two, one, hold it here. Grow a little bit longer and do 10 little circles to the front. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, 10 little circles the other way for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one, hold it here. You're gonna bring this to the front. You're gonna make as much of an L shape as you can, but keep the body, the butt, like nice and long. You don't wanna tuck forward. So extend it nice and long. You're just gonna do little taps for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Hold it here. You're just gonna bend in and extend for 10, nine, eight, seven, Six, remember not to tuck your butt. Five, four, three, two, one. Holding it long, and we'll do like five little bicycles. Four more, three more, just keep breathing. Two more, last one, and let's reverse the direction for five. Nice and long, four, keep the core really stable here. Three, two, and one. Hold, bring it back in. You can smack it out. You'll feel that in your butt muscles. It'll feel really good. You should be using your abs and your arms as well. Let's do the other side. Again, abdominals are lifted. 
you want a nice long line here. Hands down, fingertips spread wide. Why? Because we just want a good foundation. It keeps us from wobbling. You're gonna point to lift and flex to lower. Point to lift, flex to lower. Grow the leg nice and long for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Lower it down. Keep that hip nice and long. Again, hands activated. Don't forget about that. 10 little circles to the front for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Reverse the circles for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Hold it here. You're going to point the toe. Bring your front. Just going to do little toe taps. 10, 9, 8, 7, remember not to tuck your butt in, 6, 5, keep it nice and long, 4, 3, 2, 1, hold. Now just bend the leg in, but again, keep your butt nice and long and almost arched instead of tucked. You're going to pull in and extend long, 9, 8, just keep breathing, 7, 6, Five, four, three, two, last one. Hold it here. You're gonna be a little wobbly and bicycle back. The idea here is to keep stable while you're moving the leg in a really in an unstable way. Let's do six, five, keep the ab, keep the abs tight, keep using your arm. Three more. Two more. Last one. Hold. Let's reverse for 10. Nine. Eight. Smiling makes it a little easier. Seven. Six, but you'll be feeling it. Five more. Four. Three. Two. And one. Bring it in. Lower it down. So. I'm grabbing weights, I'm using three pounds. If you don't have weights at home, you can grab two bottles and fill them with water. Just make sure they're the same size, like anything, just two balls. If you don't have anything, you can still do the moves, just be really like mindful of activating your muscles. You can still follow along with me and have, and have the same, pretty much the same experience. It'll still be good for you. So you're gonna take your weights. I want you to keep your fingertips long instead of grabbing them. Glide your shoulder blades down the back and like really lift up from here. Hug your elbows in by your sides. You're gonna inhale, just about shoulder height. Open up, same, and exhale back to center, pull back in. Let's do 10 like this. Nine like this. Eight more. Seven. Just keep breathing. Six, they start to get heavy. Five, four more, and breathe, three more, two more, last one, hold it in here, bring your elbows up, let your fingers touch, I'm just going to go swimming, you're going to extend, open, but you're not moving your spine, you're keeping your spine and you're using your core a lot here too. Using your core to keep yourself stable. Let's do six more like this. Just like you're skimming the surface of the water. Five. Four more. Use the core the whole time. Three more. Two. Last one. Hold it here. And make sure you're keeping your shoulders down. If you start to feel it in your neck, just give yourself a second, drop the weights, and gently bring the neck down. Roll it to the side and back to center. Remember, we're doing this pretty much like right when we wake up. This is to invigorate and energize the body, not to punish it. We're going to extend the arms to the side. You're going to drop your shoulders, and this is really important. I want you to keep your shoulders down. Extend the arms out. You're going to inhale one arm up and exhale it down. Now focus on the opposite ribs. So really keep your ribs working to stay stable. For seven, six more. Five, 
and four, three, two, last one, this side, hold it here, wiggle the fingers, it helps a little bit, inhale, dropping the shoulder, for nine, eight, exhale on the down, seven, six, five, four, three, two, last one, hold, you can just extend your arms out and hold for ten, nine, this one is the hardest part, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, drop, let your neck hang heavy, and as you let your neck hang heavy, you don't want to just collapse, you want to keep the spine long, so you're actually stretching it back here. Grab your weights again and gently roll the neck back up. Extend the arms long. Ten little circles to the front. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and reverse the circles for ten. Don't let it go into your neck. It's not worth it. Seven, six. Just keep the shoulders down. Five, four, three, two, one. Hold for ten, nine. Eight, you'll be a little shaky, that's good. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Drop it down. Now make sure the neck is released. The reason we go so slow with those is I don't want you to hike up. Start with like two pounds because these get really, really intense and it's very, very normal to want to hike them up here. That's why I keep talking to you about dropping the shoulders. Take it slow and if it's too many, just start with like five reps or three or four. Don't go with me full on like, 10 if you feel like it's compromising your body in any way. The goal is to like wake up, invigorate yourself, feel good, again, no punishments, right? Okay, so let's change the position slightly. All fours. So you're gonna grab your weights, and you wanna be, you wanna keep your knees inner hip distance apart, so kinda like, like five inches apart or so. You know, bring yourself, you're pitching your body forward, you bring your butt back, and you'll extend your arms along like this. So now you want, like, you want to make sure your ponytail's in the right place. Now you want to look forward, and you want to hike your neck up, and you don't want to have it down too much. You just kind of want to gaze to the edge of your mat, and do 10 little lifts up for 10, and work your triceps. Eight, seven, six, abs in and up. Five, four, three, two, one. Hold it here. You're going to turn the weights out slightly, and open out to the side like a V for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Bring them back in. Drop yourself down more. Bring your butt back slightly. I want to go a little bit higher for 10 more. For 10, 9, 8, abs working, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Drop the weights, you can roll them forward, bring your whole body forward into your resting position. Stretching your fingertips long, you'll feel a nice stretch in the shoulders. You'll feel your glutes, your butt, kind of like rock it from side to side, whatever feels good. If this feels nice to you, you can bring your arms out behind and give them a nice big stretch here too. Just be gentle with the shoulders always. When you're ready, stack yourself back up. Okay, so, Let's do a little work for everybody's favorite with your little butt work. So you wanna bring your knees hip distance apart, flat feet, you don't want them in too much like this, you don't want out too much like this, you wanna kinda of make a box with your body, and you can just take a second and just like stretch around, like do what feels good, this always feels really good in the morning. And then like drop your shoulders back, bring yourself up, traditionally like cat-cow stuff, but I don't want you to focus on this too much, I just want you to sort of like feel the way that your spine moves. Okay, um, fingertips are spread wide again. And again, it's a word about elbows. We don't want them in hyperextending like that. That puts a lot of pressure on the joints and then on the muscles. So we wanna turn them so they rotate in. You want these little creases. I would see these little creases to kind of like smile at each other like, hey, and that's how you do it. Then you're gonna give a slight bend. Then take your, ex your right leg, start with your right leg. You're just gonna pull your abdominals in and up. See how I lifted? You're just gonna flat uh, with a pointed toe. You're just gonna lift for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 
One, hold it here, we're gonna go a little bit higher, but you're still just gonna pull your abs in and up. And another set of 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Bring it in. You will feel that if you're doing that correctly and it's all about pulling the abs in. Okay, let's see the other side. I'm gonna bring that left leg up. Make sure you're even and you're not like kind of wobbling side to side. And 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four. You're working your arms, two, three, two, one. Hold it here, square yourself, pull your abs in and up deeper and a little bit higher for 10. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Bring everything back in. Bring yourself back. Make little fists and just lift yourself up. Gently look at the sky and then pull yourself back down. Bring yourself into a child's pose and long, long arms. I really want you to stretch forward so you can feel a nice pull in your armpit. Remember, stretching is also working out. Like you're stretching your muscles, you're elongating your muscles. And that's something that people forget. Okay, stretch yourself up. We're gonna end with a, another little standing plank. So coming back to the end of your mat, heels together, toes apart. You'll feel different now because you'll feel all those things I talked about in the beginning, everything's working. You're gonna bend your, your legs slightly and just kind of pull your abdominals in and up, glide your shoulder blades down your back. Inhale the arms up, exhale. Remember, round yourself down. Walk yourself out into a plank position. This time we're just gonna hold. Drop the butt, make sure you're really long. We're just gonna hold for a good 10, nine, abs in and up, bodies long, necks long, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. You're gonna pike it up. Let's walk to the front of your mat. So you're stretching your hamstrings a little bit here. And this part feels really nice. You can bend your knees because you might start to feel like you're losing your balance. Bend your knees a little bit here. Just bring your arms out behind you. Stretch everything. You can pull up like this. You can bring them up if you're brave like this. It takes a tiny bit of balance. But this is a really nice stretch. And if none of those sound fun, you can just hold it right here. Let your head be heavy. Give it a little nod, yes, no, yes, that felt super good and I'm ready to rock my day. Bend your knees, lift yourself up, and we got it. I want you to try to come to your workout as A, a part of your daily routine, and be an understanding that it's full body and it's a movement of like the breath and the circulation. There's tremendous benefits to working on everything at the same time versus just, you know, kind of like picking and choosing. I think you'll start to feel it once you start to understand it a little bit better. And then it's something that you can do every morning and give yourself like in, I don't know, in 30 days, you'll completely be like toned, you'll feel your butt moving, you'll walk better, you'll feel more lifted. Um, you'll absolutely see the results. You don't have to punish the body again. It's about comforting yourself into the movement instead of like punishing yourself through something. It's just, it's like small and mighty.